Hey guys, what's up? It's Jaden, and uh, welcome to another live brick filming event. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any um, questions about brick filming um, or the brick film I'm working on right now, be sure to ask those questions in the comments below. So, uh, uh, I recently finished filming The Fighting First, uh, as you guys probably know from the last few behind the scenes videos. So, I'm completely done with filming uh, on The Fighting First. So I've started filming on this uh, other video. If you watch my uh, Foxhole Fridays Live episodes, um, last time I talked about uh, this video that I'm working on right now, where it's a uh, World War One biplane uh, dogfight video. So I just wanted to test this out. I hadn't really done anything with planes before, um, and not, especially not like World War One planes. So, uh, so yeah, I just finished this uh, this first shot here. With just this plane flying and like clouds going by it, flying through the clouds. Uh, and that shot turned out pretty cool. Um, so I'm about to move on to the next shot. And as you can see, I'm using mini planes. Um, these little, let's see. I'm using these uh, little mini Lego planes that I built. Um, so this is a little uh, Lego biplane that I built. And uh, right here, uh, actually, I only have uh, one of these propellers that I built, so I'm not going to have these two planes in the same shot. I'm going to have to switch the, the propeller out for each shot, which is okay because I wasn't planning on having them in the same shot. Anyways, but uh, this is a German triplane, um, and uh, you guys, well, I'll, I'll just tell you, I'm, I'm going to have a Lego uh, Red Baron fly in this plane because this, this is one of the planes that the Red Baron flew in. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so you have to keep an eye out for this video. It'll come out a few weeks after the fighting first comes out. Um, so I've got this tri this triplane, and it's gonna attack this uh, this biplane. There's gonna be a big dogfight in this video. Um, so I hope you guys like it. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm using mini planes here, um, but then I still want to have mini figures in it. So I built these um, these two uh, these two pieces where it's it's spots where the minifigs can sit in. I'm gonna have some extra heads here. Uh, those won't those obviously won't be on it whenever I'm filming that part. But I'm gonna have uh, a British um, pilot flying in this one, and uh, for whenever I want to whenever I want to show the minifigs. But I'm not gonna show that it's just like this part of the oh, a close up on them flying and then it'll cut back to the mini planes flying. Um, so hopefully it'll help maintain the illusion that uh, that they're sitting inside these. Um, and I, I tried to do the same thing in the fighting first with the uh, mini tank um, that makes several appearance, appearances in that uh, film. Uh, so whenever that movie comes out, you guys will have to let me know what you think of the mini stuff. Um, also, the, the Fighting First is coming out um, July 22nd. Uh, so that's in a few weeks here. Um, so you guys will have to keep an eye out for that. And uh, be sure to watch it and let me know what you think about it. Uh, yeah, so this next shot, I just filmed this just flying through the clouds. So the next shot is going to be a close-up of this British pilot here. Um, and I got this... Uh, this uh, stuffing. Um, this is the same stuff I use for my explosions, and uh, it works pretty good as clouds too, for these uh, plane shots. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, and if this goes well, I'm, I'll make a bunch more of these airplane videos if you guys like them. Um, I just want to try something different uh, than uh, than having land battles. See how this works out. Let's see, I got a head stuck in my in this um, pilot helmet here. I'm trying to get that out real quick. I'm, I'm going to use the same the same body for the two uh, for the two pilots as well. Um, I just got to switch out the heads each time. So that's that's kind that's kind of the price you pay whenever you just kind of throw together a video like this, like I'm doing. Uh, I mean, it's still going to be it's still going to be good, but um, <clears throat> but I'm not taking a lot of time to like write out an in-depth story or anything uh, like I did with the fighting first. This is just 
you know, I had an idea for a video and then I started working on it the same day pretty much. So, um, you know, like with, with the fighting first, it took me a long time to write out the script and all that. So, man, this head is really stuck in this helmet. Okay. I might just use a different head then. Let's see what other heads we got here. Well, actually, I'm going to have to get it out of the helmet because, like I said, I'm using the same body and using the same helmet here. E. This thing is really stuck in there. And it is hot in this room, and my hands are sweaty as well, so that does not help. <clears throat> uh, so this is, like, this is some of the stuff I get myself into here whenever I'm working on this um, on these types of videos. I recently started filming in this uh, in this room, so the first the first time I filmed in here was the fighting first, um, because I, I recently moved to a new house, so I've got a I found a new room to film in. It's a little closet type thing. It's actually got a lot of room in it though. Okay. Oh, this is a bit of a problem. I've got another helmet in this bag here, and that should fix this. I'll just get another helmet. All right, so I'm going to get filming here in, in a uh, few minutes, guys. Just got to get this helmet on, get my character set up and ready to go. I will check the comments in a few minutes as well. If you guys have anything to say, be sure to put it in the comments. And uh, this is going to be a short stream. Most of my brick filming streams I try to keep pretty short. Oh, wow. This bag has a big hole in the bottom of it, and it's not good. So uh, so I'm going to keep this stream about uh, 30 minutes or so. I got this picked up. I'm going to get my character in here. I've got to get his head turned back around. There we go. Woo! Finally got his head out of there. Okay. Now we are going to get started filming here. Got my British pilot. He's going in the plane here. Get his helmet on him. There we go. Cool. I also recently was working on another live action. Um, so that'll be coming out after the fighting first two. So you guys can uh, look forward to that. I'm, I started using that, that new uh, editing software, um, the same software that I, that I used in that, um, muzzle flash test. You guys probably saw if you watch my channel, uh, regularly. Okay. I've got to get this all in focus here. There we go. Perfect. Well, almost perfect. I gotta move this around a little bit more. There we go. All right. So he's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have uh, clouds be going by him. Then I was thinking about having the red Baron plane just kind of uh, coming out of the clouds right beside him, kind of spooky like <laughs> that might be cool but i'll just have to see how everything goes sometimes my i'll run out of battery and have to move my camera to take the battery out and stuff like that and that messes up the shot i just have to kind of roll with whatever footage i have and just kind of have to make it work sometimes so okay First picture done with these clouds along here. That was a little too much. Can't have them go too fast here. I've got to get the lighting to work on this too. Still haven't fixed that uh, lighting problem. Still have that. But uh, kind of found a way around it. 
at least a temporary fix. You just, uh, I'll shine a flashlight on it and that'll make the, um, the camera adjust and make it darker to match with the picture before it, so. Cool, and I will uh, check the comments real quick here, see what you guys have been saying. Okay, um, and so Lego Warfare asked, um, is this part of the movie you're making? Uh, I, I guess he's talking about the, uh, the fighting first, and um, no, it, this is uh, another video. I finished filming the fighting first. It's completely done. Um, so that, that's coming out July 22nd. You guys will have to keep an eye out for that. But this is a, uh, a separate video, um, just about a... Uh, a dog fight between the Red Baron and a British pilot. So, uh, yeah, let me get this back up here. Cool. Alright. Take this shot again. I just have to take it until I get my lighting right on it. My lighting used to be really, uh, used to flicker a lot. Those of you who have seen any of my other um, stop motions probably know that. But uh, I, I worked really hard to get rid of it in the fighting first and not have any flicker. Um, or at least very little flicker. I think there's maybe there might be a few parts where it flickers a little bit, but it's uh, very little. So I'm trying to do the same thing with all my videos now. I don't want to uh, go back to having it all be really, I don't want to go back to it having a lot of flicker. So, okay, we're moving right along with this shot. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's good. I was just thinking, oh, maybe I should have had um, should have had his goggles on, um, but I think it. I just remember it, it might be cool if, when he sees the red bear and that he puts his goggles on right before they start fighting. That might be uh, might be better. Um, probably not more realistic, but whenever you're in, uh, whenever you're trying to entertain people, you're realistic um trying to be realistic isn't always the, the number one thing i mean i try to be as historically accurate as i can but um sometimes you just got to be got to sacrifice that just to be entertaining okay next part here I'm going to have these two clouds pass, and then by the time this gets back here, then I'm going to have the Red Baron's plane come out of the clouds. And then he's going to look over and see the Red Baron, and then he's going to look back and put his goggles on um, before they start fighting. I think that's going to add to the effect. These shots are looking pretty good. Whenever I'm uh, done with this, I might upload... Uh, part of this to my, to the uh, Facebook page. So if you guys are liking my Facebook page, you'll be able to see part of this in advance. Um, not the whole video, but I'll I'll upload uh, the first few seconds that I have here, so you guys can see how it looks. And uh, I'll do that tonight, right after I'm done with the stream. So if you guys aren't liking my uh, Facebook page, be sure to go like it, because uh, that that won't be the first time that I've done stuff like that. I, a lot of times I'll upload. I'll upload little clips of videos in advance, and I've, um, 
I've uploaded clips of live actions and Lego stuff before, so be sure to uh, like that page. Yep. And this is this is looking pretty good so far. Let's see. Let's see, I think that there's a little bit of flicker, but there's not not that much. Um, and it, it happens right when the cloud comes by, so uh, it could just be like the clouds covering up the sun. That would actually make that would actually make sense. So doesn't look doesn't look bad. <clears throat> Let's see. This cloud's passing. I'm gonna make sure this cloud stands up a little more so it covers up the whole background, so I'll be able to fit this red baron plane. Um, this uh, tri wing back there. Okay, I have to take this shot again here. Yeah, just have to take it again. That one didn't work too well. Just gotta uh, take it till we get it right. I see we have um, uh, nine viewers now. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's actually more than a lot of my uh, streams get at this time. So, so I uh, thank you guys for uh, watching this. And uh, like I said earlier, if you have any questions about this video or or uh, certain things I'm doing, if you want to know like why I'm doing certain things or uh, you want tips or something for your um, brick film, just be sure to put um, all that in the uh, comments below. Cool. So that just got that shot done. Or that uh, frame. I'm moving this cloud over here. This is looking pretty cool so far. I think you guys are going to like this when it's done. I recently watched a uh, Red Baron movie. Uh, I know there's been a lot of those made, but I think this this was like a 2006 Red Baron movie that I thought was really good. So that's what made me... Um, that's one of the things that made me want to make this video. Um, I've also, just for a long time, I've been wanting to make a, uh, a plane video. And I think I even started to make one back several years ago when I first started my channel. Um, but I just didn't finish it because I didn't really know how to, how to make it all look good. But I think I found um, I think I found some some of what I need to make it look look pretty good. Like right now, it looks it looks pretty good in this uh, in these pictures I'm taking, and the way I'm taking it. No one's going to see, like, in front of here on the sides or anything. You just see him and, like, where the bricks are gray uh, or where they're dark gray. And you see part of the tail fin and the clouds coming by. But uh, you won't be able to tell that it's just, like, half the plane. Okay. I think here is where we're going to hide this red barren plane this is gonna be awesome I'm really excited for you guys to see this video but uh, it's gonna be a few weeks until I'm um, I, I'll probably have it done being filmed in the next few days but uh, it'll be a few weeks till it'll be out on my YouTube channel after the fighting first because um, I've got to uh, I've got to edit it and then I have I've been trying to stay ahead on my videos and try to make them a few weeks in advance to give me more time to spend on longer videos. Um, so, um, so yeah, all you guys had asked me for longer videos and I'd wanted to make stuff with more of a story. So that's why I, uh, made, uh, the fighting first and that's why I'm making a lot of these other videos. Now Th this video isn't going to have much of a story. Um, like I said before, this is more of like the, my uh, 
older way of doing things where it's just, uh, you know, I'll just like make the video of the day. I come up with the idea and everything, not much of a story or planning for it. But so, so you guys will still get some, some like two minute videos like this where it'll just be, uh, you know, like a fighting scene or something like that. But, um, I'm going to start putting a lot of my energy into the longer stuff like the fighting first. Cause I think you guys will like that. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Um, if, if you think I should make more of the longer stuff, like the fighting first ended up being um, 16 and a half minutes long. So it's the, the longest, the longest video I've ever made. Uh, even the longest out of like all my live actions. So, uh, so if you guys would like more long Lego stuff like that, or if you just want shorter battle stuff like this, um, be sure to, Put it in the comments, or if you want a mix of both, like because uh, right now I'm thinking I'll I'll do a mix of both, where um you guys will get a bunch of of little battle scenes while I'm working hard making the long one, um uh, along with behind the scenes stuff on my next on my next long live action. So, so let me know what you guys think, and I'll check the comments again here in a minute right after I get this shot done. There we go. That looks good. Yeah. So you just start seeing the the red baron in the in the background out of focus, and it uh it looks pretty cool. Now I am gonna. I just realized that it's a little too low in the shot in here, so I'm gonna gonna try to put a Lego piece under it to try to give it some more support and make it stand up a little more. And make sure I gotta I gotta make sure that I'm turning the propeller and everything too. Don't want that to not be moving or something. All right, so I'm gonna check the comments real quick here. See what you guys have been saying. I will reload the page here. Okay. See, this is looking good. Okay. I right, Lego Warfare asked, uh, "What's my favorite song?" Um, and and song genre. Uh, I. I really couldn't pick a favorite song. Um, <clears throat> but my my favorite style of music is uh, is orchestra, and specifically like film soundtracks from uh, from films. So, but as far as like a favorite song, I couldn't really pick one. So, you know, I I really like. Uh, the soundtrack from the Medal of Honor um, video game series. Uh, the game, you know, the, the game is fun, but the uh, the soundtrack is actually really good for that. Whenever you just listen to that by yourself, it sounds like, um, you know, something that would be in a movie and not just like a video game. So I really like that. Okay, let's see. Got some more uh, comments here. Let's see. All right, so Lego Warfare, um, he has a question here, and I, I think what he's asking, I'm having a hard time seeing my computer screen with the way that it's... Uh, set up here because I've got a um I'm pointing at the the uh, where I'm filming here too. So so I'm looking at it from uh, from an angle here but I believe what Lego Warfare is asking is why uh, if the fighting first is done then why um 
why do I have like a release date for it? Why isn't it out now? <clears throat> and uh, the reason is I'm I don't want to release my videos as soon as they're done, and then um, uh, and then have no more videos and have to work like b before. I used to do that where as soon as I was done with the video, I I would upload it and publish it to YouTube, but then um. Uh, I wouldn't be able to have a new video every Friday um, whenever I would do that because my videos, they take more than a week to make. So what I have to do is I have to make, uh, like with the Fighting First, I made a bunch of behind-the-scenes videos while I was in the middle of, of uh, filming that video. And, um, and, whenever, and then I uploaded and published those behind-the-scenes videos while I'm still working on it. So it, it kind of like buys me time to make this really long stop motion movie and that that stop motion movie took me um <clears throat> probably a i think it was about a, a month that of of uh working on it because i had to write the script and i had to film it and then after i filmed it it took me a long time to get all the voice acting done and everything um and get the lines from all the voice actors so um so if if i would have just uploaded whenever it was if I would just upload my videos and it was completely done, you guys would have to wait a long time to see uh, videos and you wouldn't get one every Friday. So I've got to try to keep my video schedule ahead and I've got to make videos and then save them. Uh, so whenever I need to make a long video like the fighting first, I've got plenty of videos. So you guys will keep getting the video every Friday and I won't run out of uh, videos. So that's why I, I um, that's why I do that. Um, with, uh, with my YouTube channel. Um, now I don't do that with my, uh, Patreon page. Um, with Patreon, as soon as I'm done with a video, it goes straight to Patreon. So my, uh, patrons get all my videos as soon as they're complete, as soon as they're up, um, completely ready to go. So they'll get them weeks or months in advance. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's, that's why I do that. Hopefully that answers your, uh, question. Uh, Lego Warfare, because <clears throat> I I really want my channel to be uh, consistent. I don't want to have uh, con like consistent uploads. I don't want to have um, you know like two months where I don't upload anything uh, or nothing's going live. So that's why I uh, that's why I don't publish things as soon as they're done. I save them and I'll schedule them out um, for different weeks. So uh, yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to get the lighting in this shot right. The movements all look good. Um, the plane in the background looks great. But uh, this lighting here, I'm just trying to fix it. And this plane keeps uh, falling down here. Hopefully I can get this lighting fixed real quick, though. No, not fixed yet. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. All right, so I see we've been going for about uh, 30 minutes now, guys. So I'm going to check the comments again. If you guys have anything uh, you would like me to, to – any questions you'd like me to answer or anything else you'd like me to read um, before I'm done here, be sure to ask it right now. Um, because I'm going to end this stream in a few minutes here. So I'm going to go through and read your uh, comments real quick. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, and I'll see if you guys have asked any more questions before I end this. So I really hope you guys like this video whenever it's done. And I'm going to try to get it done as soon as possible, and it'll be out in a few weeks after the fighting first. Um, so I see there's no uh, no new questions at the moment. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next Friday with another behind-the-scenes video for The Fighting First. So you guys will get to see um, how I'm making that and uh, how I made it. Oops, bumped my uh, desk there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday with that uh, with that new video. Bye.